Hey guys, I'm Smoke Ship. And I'm Cam Kicks. Welcome to Mixed Up. Okay, so topic of the day is Xbox One X. That finally title really goes round, right? It goes. It's like it's a full circle. It's like Xbox One, One X. X. Xbox One X, which is a weird name to begin with. It's confusing. You it's, know it's what? Confusing. I would have loved if they would have called it the Elite. The that Xbox would be fantastic. Or oh, sorry, the Xbox One Elite. And you know what? If they would have bundled it with Elite controller, oh my that God. would be fantastic. Beautiful controller that. I, I, in fact, they used to, just as small as this thing, they used to have an Xbox 360 Elite back in the day. It was did when, they? Yeah, when the white yeah. 360 was there. There was a, it's an elder brother, I'm not sure how well it did, it was the black 360 Elite. Need some more coffee? Yeah. Big question guys, will you go in for Xbox One X? Smoke. Will we? <laughs> You'll get to know by the end of the video, I guess. Yeah. Now, this, uh, this is a tough question. You know? It's no doubt a machine that really lives up to the hype in terms of power. Uh, yeah. Now, the problem is from a from logical standpoint, from a pure logical standpoint, Xbox One X is giving me more power. Yeah. If in case I have to go ahead and buy a PC, that is going to give me an output of 4K. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no way I can build it in $500. You're absolutely right. I mean, this in terms of value, when you talk about the legitimacy of this system mm -hmm. and if it's overpriced or not, it's not for what you get. It's, it's a beautifully designed system. Uh, technically, visually, yes, uh, I find it a little too simplistic, uh, but it's fine. What, what defines simplistic? I guess it's, it's just a matte black box. Uh, which um, you, you, know, you won't but, love it, you won't hate it. But as it's, they're very smart, they're playing it safe and smart. Uh, anyway, the, the, well, the, it's subjective. I like the simplicity absolutely. of the Xbox One X. Wh what I was talking about is that you know, uh, talking about the One X, like you were saying, if you want a comparative PC, mm -hmm. it would be about what seven fifty dollars. Seven fifty dollars. So if in case I've done the research in terms uh -huh. of parts and other things, if okay. you have to build mm -hmm. a PC that is comparable to Xbox One uh -huh. X, not necessarily that the games would play better on it. Yeah. Just in the pure Specs term okay. is going to cost me seven fifty dollars, and that's without the UHD four K Blu Ray player, Blu Ray, and without the keyboard and the mouse. Yes, and a good so, set of uh, cans or speakers. Exactly. So Xbox One X is appealing to me in that form. I mean, it's it's a system that if in case I don't want to go in for so for example spend a bomb on a PC, okay, I can get a Xbox One X. If in case I have a 4K TV, which I don't, yeah. but I'm going to buy it uh -huh. very soon, okay. then at least I can start playing and just have a leap over the Xbox One X generational, I wouldn't say generational, iterative leap. Yeah, uh, I mean, see, when we when we talk about the whole platform and everything, now, in terms of the, what Xbox is trying to do, they're definitely strengthening the pillars of their brand. You know, they're, they're basically going back, uh, you, you'll have back compact with OG, X, OG, OG Xbox and 360, mm -hmm. you know, which is a pretty big library. How many people would actually be interested in that library would be a little, I mean, it's a, I'm not sure about that. What they're trying to do is basically strengthen and strengthen their core audience. You know, the mm -hmm. people who actually know about these titles or would be interested in playing Crimson Skies, etc. Mm -hmm. from back in the day, check those out and just you know just delve into that whole world of xbox which they're trying to create which they you know if if all things go well they might actually have their own playstation experience mm -hmm. somewhere sometime in the future uh, now speaking of all that xbox one x has raw power fine but the power is not from what i saw and i could be wrong here i mean it's sure. it's it it would be as in any console, like as in any platform, the best potential that I mean that can be the, the, the most juice that you can pull out is from a first party. You know they would know how to exploit it best. But a third party, I know would where this is so coming much. now. I, I now, know where you're yeah, going to go. You know, the, you're going the to go is, in the domain of 
games like you know they don't yeah, have they first don't party games. have the exclusives to back that up you look just look at the ad the promotion is this is a, the most powerful console in the world and what they're showing is fine they showed forza and they showed gears which is already gone mm-hmm. uh and then they show minecraft <laughs> i mean see even no even, no hate for the minecraft players see, you want to play it on a gigantic I, 4k i don't know about you guys but for me i don't count forza as a go to game like this is a game i would want to invest a system in it, it's it's, it's it a great a select game. audience yeah so it's a great game if i have the system i can go ahead and play the game yes. so it's no for example no, no pun set. intended no. it's no halo or gears for me that i want yeah. to buy an xbox though now gears and halo is also not pushing xbox the yes. way they used to halo be. isn't gears i wouldn't say it's pushing but it still has some of its charm it's, it's unlike just, halo it's just you have to give credit where credit is due yes PS is Sony is coming up with good new oh IPs, God. so they are not just in cashing upon the previous IPs. Yes. They are actually trying to build good, I mean, strong their IPs. Their present lineup and the the road ahead it's is, it's is fantastic. It's just fantastic. Just for first, second party titles, it's 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 amazing. And That's Xbox right. hasn't exactly showed their hand yet, mm-hmm. right? They don't have That's much right. to show out there. And now you know if you if using this, if we just segue into mm-hmm. what we were going to talk about, which is the demographic of the One X. Before before we Go into okay. the demographics. Okay, breaks, breaks. Sorry, I'm, because you were talking about power. Uh huh. I want to touch on the fact. See, power does allow you to play games at a better frame rate, more okay. visual fidelity. Uh-huh. But the biggest problems we have been having with Xbox One is the clunkiness of the system. Yes. So my problem with this. or my dilemma is whether Xbox is going to improve upon the clunkiness of the games okay i actually Cl- my clunkiness the ui uh, the latest update mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. now i'm not i haven't gone through all of it mm-hmm. but as much as i did see it's it's definitely a big update from what was there it is and it's smoother but and faster but it does not change the fact you still have to install those games like there's a install period for those games yes i think so that is still there so I'm you just just sure. not like you can pop it up and within seconds you can start the game like playstation right that's yeah, what it is i'm not sure if they've uh, rectified that yes. but they do have i mean a playstation has its advantages these guys have taken out things like you know uh, there's unlimited recording now unlike playstation that's uh, and at 1080 but, 60 but on that on not just 1080 60 it's 4k it's for xbox 4K, 1 it's 4k 60 fps if you which want to stream deal. game yeah. it's a big deal for people like us who yeah, are into exactly. youtubes and you know they're not for the having, regular consumer having gaming channels and other things for a regular person he's not going to he's going to care less about or he's not going to care anything about 4k streaming or 4k i can record it 4k for him that's a point games is what matters if in case just just think back if in case you were just a kid or in college uh-huh. what did matter to you what was the things I that would mattered go towards to the uh, the content uh, the on available on the platform exactly we want to play god of war we want to play uncharted yes. and other, that was a decision exactly. maker for us common user would go in for what kind of games i can play See, uh, if if you just talk about that the demographic in itself now find uh, xbox one x is giving you the whole og mm-hmm. og and 360 uh, games experience and uh, credit has to be given to what mm-hmm. they're doing and I, i'm not sure if they're getting enough credit for that by you know the press and everything that these guys are putting in a lot of effort they're putting in a lot of resources and giving this stuff out for free mm-hmm. you know and they and they're reinforcing this is not to get other people in this is not so, getting a uh, uh, um, uh, fresh people in it's for the core xbox audience but saying that talking getting back to the demographic it's just the third party titles which to some extent could be leveraged even that is not sure whether you know it would be that much of a performance benchmark mm-hmm. or that big a leap as compared to the pro or i'm not sure about the regular vanilla See, I, consoles I, so I, so the, what i was getting to was mm-hmm. that would that would that person buying the xbox mm-hmm. say if he has the playstation and this would they buy the same game again just to see whether it runs better on the xbox one x that I, would be a very small demo i doubt people would go in for, if in case for example now there are two kinds of people uh-huh. people who are those hardcore gamers who are those who want the best of the best yeah. they'll definitely pick up a game in if in case they have the finance to do it they'll yeah. pick up a game to check out how it runs in and that Xbox. would also be only something on the console yeah. you know otherwise they get even it on even i I've, uh, i've been guilty of that i've been yes. buying games for example i have overwatch oh he on, has been or, yes overwatch on uh, playstation 4 and overwatch on xbox also to check out the ping how what's how the how uh-huh. does it play how, what's the difference in the player but that's base a very small it, it's not exactly going to not numbers. not many people with do that so my problem with xbox one x is it's not point number one it's not a generational leap 
Yeah, but you know, speaking so, of not being a generationally, we don't exactly have the tech right now which has been revolutionary in any way. In the so, industry, apart from VR, I, most of it I would under- just be higher numbers. It so, would be iterated. So I understand that. But, you know, it's like the expectations of consumers yeah. over the time, over these periods have been whenever you can't, you say a new console is coming up. Yeah. There's, there's this mindset that the games, oh my, the games are going to look generationally better mm, over time. Yeah. Even if it's an iterative uh, console, we know it's an iterative yeah. console. It's the mindset of more pe- uh, console people, our console users. We are not PC users that we would upgrade our graphic cards and other things exactly. to see, you know, that uh, to have incremental increases. Exactly. Whenever we buy a new console, we see that whether the game is going to be a generational leap, not just an iterative leap. You know what? You 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 just uh, I, a spark went off up there, which mm-hmm. rarely does happen. Speaking of generational updates in games, mm-hmm. more visuals. If you look at the Pro mm-hmm. or the PS, you look at say you look at a uh, PlayStation and their lineup. Mm-hmm. The some of the games look magnificent, you know, and that's, that's not to do with, with the, the tech. Exactly. The, it, that is to do with the and that you'll only get with the first parties leveraging that potential from the system. It, exactly. it would only come from there. It can't mm-hmm. come from a third party unless they really dedicate the resources to one platform. And reinforcing your point, Xbox mm-hmm. does not have good first party developers. They don't have Naughty Dogs. They don't no, have they don't Gorilla Games. Yes, they have those. They yeah. don't have Gorilla Games. Uh, they don't have uh, Sucker, Sucker Punch. Punch. They yeah. don't have Sucker Punch. Yeah. Sucker Punch is not there. Exactly. So, you know, you need those. And now there's Kojima also. Oh, yes. So you need those powerhouses to actually invest into your system, try to get the best out of the system. See, Xbox just, sadly does not. I don't see Xbox having an alternate to Naughty Dogs. I don't see an Xbox. The having problem an alternate is, you know, to they they other first party studios. They, yeah, they haven't seemed to have uh, invested into that. You know, if, if you look at uh, coming back to how they're trying to build around their brand, mm-hmm. they can definitely if they just rummage into the back of their trunk and find what they can uh, if they can find one of those jewels in there, or maybe try and hone them and support them to be one of those fantastic studios. Now you look at Remedy. They may not be the naughty dogs of uh, these guys, but they're definitely unique. They come with a special sauce of their own. You look at uh, someone like Coalition, which was whatever Epic's uh, Gears branch. Mm -hmm. They they are great. I mean, the Halo branch, uh, uh, I mean, the Halo guy, 343. The problem with 343 was they weren't handled properly. So the thing is that... Weren't? Or they, were they were or not still. they were not handled. What properly. about now? What do you think? No about idea about now, but the thing is that there's too much damage being done to the Halo uh, brand. Halo Halo Five did uh, not it, live it up was to a the mess. Experience. It Halo was a mess. Halo Four was phenomenal. Halo For me, Four was great. Is. I loved it as well. Halo Five, it was a missed opportunity. Uh, see, the thing is, the, uh, the, uh, when you look at all these first-party IPs, now the problem is Microsoft. One of the main factors is it doesn't have the Japan factor like PlayStation, right? Exactly. They don't have Band and all these other guys working behind them, Japan, Japanese titles coming in. Uh, they don't have Japan as a core market. But, but they're still trying. You, you know, they are trying. Like yeah. a Dragon Ball new game. Though it's going to be available on PlayStation 4. Mm. It's going to be and much better. Yes, on the, for the X. They get much more yeah. visibility on Xbox One. Yeah. Ra- Xbox One X brand. Mm. Dragon Ball, I think so, it's a Dragon Ball I'm something not sure. it's not I it's, don't a, it's a dragon, it up, but dragon not, ball fighting game which looks phenomenal by yes. the way the showcase was fantastic so they good. are code wine that's another game yeah so what about the uh, what's his name the guy behind um, which i we used to keep calling the missed opportunity the guy behind mega man yeah, Rico. Uh, in Afune, I think. Rico, uh, yeah. That was that was Inafune. the best. Inafune, that was a that was a g- great inroad they could have had into Japan and their core, you know, celebrity uh, developers there. But somehow it just didn't work out. So there are these a lot of these factors. The the console in itself. If we just try to bring it home. The console in itself is fantastic. But it's you know it it's it comes back to the fact that numbers don't exactly make a great game. Stats exactly. don't make a great game and a great experience. See, you have limited money. So if in case you say today, if in case you ask me, whether you have this much amount of money, you want to go in for either Xbox One X or you want to go in for a PS4 Pro or you want to go in for Switch. My order would be right now. I'm more interested in Switch. If in case I yeah. had limited money. Oh, I thought it's he was a, going to go for Pro. No, I, I because I already have a PS4 Slim. Right? Yeah. Okay. If in case, so that's if in case, if you, if I in, thought you're saying if you don't have any. No. If in case, for example, I I have PS4 Slim, and you give me an option. No. Yes. Yeah, so you don't have anything. So, you okay. just got if, money from your granny. Okay. And now what do you do? PS4 Pro. 
hands down huh? hands down ps4 pro because those are the games that appeal to me not that the system is better than xbox one x not that it's more for example better built or something it's just purely based on the fact what i want to play then it would be switch i really want to dive into switch the games are fascinating splatoon looks amazing yeah uh, mario the new mario looks amazing and zelda it looks amazing i want to get into it and plus it's a more and i would treat it as a handheld system rather yeah. than a dex or a exactly. system that i'll plug to my yeah. tv so that's more appealing to me then third is xbox if in case i yes. need to and xbox Sadly, Xbox ties ties in with PC. So if in case I have the yeah, money, yeah, that that's, that's now, the whole now there's thing. a big dilemma, right? Should I buy an Xbox One X or should I upgrade my PC? My PC would do this, 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 this. They've actually my Xbox One X yeah, would do just play games. Cannibalize their own market by having yeah. the play anywhere. Uh, it's because format because ultimately every game that's going to come on an Xbox is going to be there. Is going to be on. Uh, PC, which is good for consumer. Consumer choice is always good. Actually, you know, it's not but, bad for. But for the hardware, when you come to pure business perspective, uh-huh. for hardware, it's going to hit the hardware sales. But, but you know what? When you when you see Microsoft, it's it's we look at hardware because we look at uh, what we're looking at is Xbox. Well, what we're not realizing is it's Microsoft. Mm-hmm. So Microsoft is owning the hardware and the software. So it's owning Windows mm-hmm. on which. The PC market's already there. Exactly. It's owning Xbox, which is the hardware. So, if say, for example, what they what they maybe suddenly woke up and realized, hey, wait a second, PC is not another platform. It's our platform. And if we combine the two, we I mean, we're indestructible in terms you of would, numbers. You would increase the sales of the games. Yeah. But will, you will lo- lose on the Xbox hardware. But and you would lose on also the Xbox Gold subscription. But what if they bring the gold onto? Uh, you know no they they the never would be able to bring it yeah, that's not because true. no one is pc users will vomit on the fact that i have to play for and online then gaming game, yeah. it's, it's n- unnatural for them it's that's natural it. for a console but gamer, but you know but that's what i, I don't user. think consoles bring it trying to get it all full circle just like the name xbox one x no idea why that happened but anyways i think it's like one of the mysteries of mm-hmm. iphone 10 rather than 9 and windows 10 rather than 9 i mm-hmm. guess so so the thing is that if uh, uh, phil spencer always says this that there's always going to be the market for the couch gaming industry and the fa- you know what's the testament to that that even people like alienware people like uh, uh, nvidia and the the whole steam machine trend which started and failed you know they all realized that there is a market there and they are coming from the pc side You know, so okay. the thing so, is that uh, so, platform would exist. So I'll ask you a question over here. If you have a PC for, uh, you have a PC before the question. Be, um, okay, important okay. question okay. because Go. it's related to you. Uh-huh. Uh, what you were saying, mm-hmm. you were saying about couch gaming. So I am definitely there's a market for couch gaming. I'm you, in that market n- now. You have an option of getting an Xbox One X and a PC, uh-huh. and an option of getting a PS4 Pro and a PC. Which option will you go in for? Yeah, right now, based, PS4 Pro based on what are the games that have been announced, PS4 Pro and a PC. Exactly. But then, you have but that's PC. not an option. The, see, the thing is that that's not a valid option because look at the money. I would go for a Xbox One X and a PS4 Pro. But but then you, what's the use? You would not be able unless to, yes, I don't yeah, have see, a PC for regular work. Then it's different. See, then you would not be. You will be missing out on Last of Us. And no no no. What I'm saying is, if we have a say, for example, a, I'm a guy who doesn't own a PC. Mm-hmm. I don't own a laptop or any sort of device on which I can do regular work and all mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Then yes, then it makes then sense. It, then it would depend. But on if the, I have a regular as PC on which I'm working and doing my day to day stuff, and then after that I have to decide. Or you have a Mac. Or if I have uh, a Mac, uh, you yeah, have a exactly. Mac and you use it for work. Exactly. Then, then uh, which is our scenario, right? Then, uh, then it depends on the. It comes down to simple fact: what are the games you want to play? You want to play the titles that are on Xbox One X, or you want to play titles that are on PS4 Pro? Then it, it, it it's a simple decision based on the games you want to play. Yeah. If and you want right to, now, the games are definitely more and more attractive. On the more PS4. attractive, but it's attractive to us. Maybe for someone, someone might, might want to play uh, Pug. Someone might want to play Battlegrounds. Yeah. So not pa- uh, Battlegrounds. Players, uh, Pug yeah, is Battlegrounds. Battleground. Yeah. So I Pug said B. I just extended Battlegrounds if in case someone does not know what Pug is. 
and if in case i want to for all the noobs out yeah. there who would know pages so, pa- direct your hate at can kicks i i didn't know about what pages at can kicks it was like platform is like people playing battlegrounds and they were saying pug pug i was like what the, what is this why are you calling it pug what is that that's, that's the way like, com- uh, can kicks generally covers that and and it's like what do you mean by pug it's battleground <laughs> how does it even translate to pug yeah. then i then i searched out what it is it's players unknown battleground <laughs> so it's like that's why it becomes pug <laughs> pug <laughs> You want to keep this in the bloopers or just in the main show? I have no <laughs> idea what it is. So for for me, pug groups or in WoW we used to have pug groups. Uh huh. So it's like pickup groups. Okay. So it's some you don't know people. You just pick up groups. And Overwatch, Overwatch oh also God. has that, pug that groups. That sounds a bit inappropriate. It's pickup. So Overwatch has solo queue as what? They're pug groups. Okay. So it's pickup groups. So if I want to play, for example, Battlegrounds, which is fascinating to me, not to or, me. Or So it depends on the simple fact which are the games that I want to play. Yeah. If I want to play for example Pug or if I want to play uh, Days Gone or if I want to play God of War if or, or I want to play Desert Online is Desert Art Online the new MMORPG okay. that looks phenomenal. Or if in case I I don't care about first party games I want to play third parties I want to play race. COD at the best possible yeah. frame rate be, best visual fidelity yeah. I want to play Titanfall I want to play which to be fair is what the PlayStation sold on initially exactly. it never had any uh, first parties it sold it sold basically on one fact of of microsoft exactly. dropping the ball and second of it being a more powerful and better console than uh, yes than and Xbox. then even in that there's another factor that plays in is where are my friends yeah for that's example, a that's a that's a for, pretty big for example game. i'm stuck with overwatch with you guys on playstation 4 <laughs> yeah yeah i Poor guy. I, i barely play on xbox so you guys don't play on xbox I would love for you because I love my elite controller. Yeah. I love to play Overwatch with my elite. Just controller. look at those humble brags just rolling off the tongue. But I cannot play it because you guys insist on playing on PS4 Pro. Because we don't have the money to buy it on multiple platforms. That's so, why. Uh, <laughs> and I am stuck with a controller that though it's a fantastic controller, but I, I like my elite controller. Wait, we're going to be talking about Pro controllers also at some time. Uh, we'll definitely we'll definitely be covering uh, Pro controllers like the Elite, Nacon, Razer. And I would be giving you platforms. fantastic. controller pro controller settings for uh, genji for tracer and other things is just determined that it would be fantastic it's, so it's hold just, him to that i've just i've put a lot of effort into it just figuring out what's the best settings for tracer best settings for genji for other overwatch uh, heroes that i play yeah so we'll be going into we'll that. get to that definitely so so no. uh, conclusions xbox one x conclusions as simple as that i'm two minds about it okay. i i'm going to wait and see okay i'm going to see with what games mm-hmm. are coming up for xbox one x even if it's previous or third party games how much better do they look mm-hmm. i'm going to hold on to the fact that you know either i'm going to go in for playstation so it's not a day one order it's not a day one order how i'm long going would to wait, wait? i would see for at least 3 months i'm okay. going to wait for december f- I'm presuming Sony is going to come up with a new PS4 Pro slim version. That's what they are hinting at their rumors. So I'll wait for it to see which one I want to go in for. Uh-huh. Either I'm going to go in for PS4 uh, Pro slim or okay. I'm going to go for an Xbox One X. Okay. Then Xbox One X is appealing to me because I can play my Witcher, the games that I have yet to complete, Witcher DLCs. I've completed Witcher 3, but the DLCs for Witcher 3. Okay. And the other Xbox titles like Doom that I have, I want to play that at a higher Is, oh, I want to enjoy. I want to ask a question. Is there a way of us implementing some sort of a bell for the users to press whenever you talk too much on YouTube? <laughs> We should have something like that, right? So that he doesn't look at me and give me dirty no, looks. No, but, but the thing is, I, I'm or, I don't speak that much. I'm so always, my turn. I'm no, always struggling for my words. thoughts How, on the Xbox just, One I, X. Pep. No, I think I'm I'm not, I've, 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 I've not completed it. Oh my I've, god, I've not completed it. But. longest because, podcast ever because i'm a com- whenever you know i go into details when i'm buying a system so it's that's, that's a very complex thing. system you don't need to praise him he does that work for you so so the third option that i have mm-hmm. is switch somehow yeah but that's it, not available in india it's not in india i mean it, if we if you look at the indian no, consumer it, it, there's a import, imported version mm-hmm. that is available so um, probably i'll pay a little premium over it yeah, and on the, the games and on the games but those games are distinct like those games i want to play those games so okay. that's because i already have a xbox mm-hmm. i have a ps4 mm-hmm. the third system now it's the question is whether i want to upgrade those existing system and yes. play those games as a higher or a different platform or a different platform a new flavor so i'll wait and see and then make up my mind over it i i would say it's a great 
console and itself and it's uh, and uh, no, if you no. look at the console but you're done dude no, you no, are done no, buddy no, no. I, I just want to let me try and cover this no, I don't no, know no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm so, just I'm just pressing on the hush you can press on facts I, I never I never said that it's a bad console I uh-huh. said that those are my preference it's an avoiding it's a game. fantastic console for the Slimy price that you're getting old. it's a phenomenal console uh-huh. for, at a very good value mm-hmm that's not what my point was okay now you can carry on uh, oh okay so it's the specs being taken off i'll keep that in mind next time that adds a cue to come or to stop talking okay so see wh- what i always what i thought about this is that it's a it's an excellent console i i get a high whenever new hardware comes out it makes you save for something work harder and you know try and buy that it's like a little objective at the end light at the end of the tunnel i guess but <clears throat> there's no doubt in terms of once you bought it then what that's really exactly the question right does it just lie there especially when you already have an xbox like i have the xbox original one i have the pro then the playstation but that again that's a different platform altogether so in my case it comes down to whether i want to buy that second so, system or not For, uh, so and and if you look at it in terms of the current value of its uh, before what you move forward no way before you move forward i am I not stopping be, before in the you move forward no way before, before you move forward Psycho i want to ask you so waving to wind before, up from before there. i before you move forward you use your playstation more or your xbox more right now i use the playstation more psycho says what do you use psycho playstation oh my god now you can carry forward but no hate on the xbox it definitely has a lot of good points to it and uh, 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 the effort that uh, microsoft is making phil spencer is making microsoft definitely uh, gets five stars and two thumbs up from me in terms of the effort to reestablish their really high, badly damaged xbox one brand mm-hmm. they're still trying to do it and what i see is that they need to put more effort into getting their first parties on roll they may not be system sellers they could be you never know if there's another say for example an overwatch level game that's exclusive or another halo that comes in which is was of the time of the og xbox that could push move consoles you never know that and that they need to understand will not come with numbers it's I, not, it will come with a so, good creative talent being hired and being well managed by microsoft like their job posting that they posted they want a horizon type of a game <laughs> the xbox they came up with a job <laughs> listing that they were trying to build a horizon <laughs> type of a game there, there, that kind of a talent that you talking that, about you know that, that's not the, so the thing is that it's a great console um is it worth the money if you're going in for a new platform uh check games on both sides if in terms of value xbox one x uh, as hardware is far superior to what you get in the ps4 pro in terms of content ps4 pro would be more uh would be definitely I, i agree with smoke so i completely agree with him if in case for example you want the best of the best system going for xbox one x it's a tremendous value if you're a pc thinker you'll generally go for the xbox one x this is just the stat argument If you're a more of a console person who is yeah. more for content rather than specs you would go for the PS4. Pro. And if in case you already have Dude. an Xbox Xbox or a PlayStation Slim and you don't have a 4K TV, I would say wait out. Wait for 6 months or so let the prices come down, invest in a 4K TV and yeah. then upgrade your consoles. Yeah, definitely. So, right? we finally yeah. draw a conclusion. As always, I'm Smoke Ship and I'm Can Kicks and this was Mixed Ups. Let's talk about it. See have you guys later. Oof.